Hey, it's Whitney. Welcome to the November Favorites video. I have seven eco-vegan products that I'm so excited to tell you about. I've been using them up a storm, including fashion, body care, food, books, all sorts of things. Everything that I'm gonna mention today is linked right down below in the YouTube description field, so you can check them out, buy them if you'd like. While you're there, you'll also find a link to last month's October Favorites, and if you haven't watched that yet, please do, and let me know, do you wanna see these favorites video? on a regular basis. If so, give me a thumbs up and or leave me a comment. Tell me what you would like to see. Let's dump, jump, let's dump right in. Let's jump right in. The very first product is a 100% organic cold pressed jojoba oil from a company called Art Naturals. They sent me this to check out and I fell so in love with this. I typically use coconut oil or other oil blends but now I am sold on this. Let me tell you why. It is amazing what this single ingredient oil can do. You can use this to moisturize your face and your whole body, condition your hair, remove makeup. It can also help minimize stretch marks. You can use it to treat your cuticle. It also has a ton of anti-aging properties because it's loaded with vitamins and minerals. And best of all, it absorbs into your skin super fast and it doesn't have a smell. A lot of people equate this to argan oil, but argan oil does have a smell and can be kind of thick. And this is a really nice alternative, plus it's so much cheaper. This one from Art Naturals is just over $10 and they also include free shipping in the US. Unfortunately, they don't ship internationally, but you can get a hobo oil from a number of companies. You want to make sure to look for one that is organic, unrefined, chemical free, and just as clean as possible. This is from a cruelty free company, which is really important to me. It's in a glass bottle. It's also nice because it has the amber bottle and it has the glass dropper right here. A little bit goes a long way, so you want to start off with just a few drops to see if that works for you and you'll be amazed at how long this can last. Have any of you used jojoba oil or are you currently using it? If so, tell me how long have you been using it? What do you use it for? What do you love about it? Next up, I have a food product that I've been eating a ton of now that it's been getting a little bit chilly, and that is rice ramen noodles. These are gluten-free organic noodles from Lotus Foods. If you just love ramen noodles, but you don't want all of the bad ingredients, this is a great alternative. So there's two different ways that you can buy this product. One is just the noodles, which I personally prefer, which means you can cook them into any type of soup or you can make them into noodle dishes, or you can get them in the soup pack, which comes with a miso soup flavor pack in it. So this one is a millet and brown rice. I have another one that's a forbidden rice. They have one that's a purple potato and rice. They had a pumpkin one out. They keep switching them up so there's a bunch of different variety. I just put that in veggie stock, an organic veggie stock along with some vegetables. I'll add in carrots, broccoli, mushrooms, and then some chopped up green onions. Tastes so good. I also like to put in some coconut aminos and some sesame seeds and get all creative with it. So if you get the miso soup packs, they cost just under $2, which I don't think is that bad. I mean, it's a small portion and it's organic, remember. How much does just regular the ramen cost, I don't even know. You can get these in places like Whole Foods, but I've linked to them down below if you wanna get it from Amazon and have it shipped to you. And then, if you just want the noodles, they come in a four pack, and they're usually about $7. For the next product is in the fashion category, and that is shoes from Tom's. I love these shoes. I wear one of their styles almost every single day. I have their sneaker, which is one of my daily choices if I'm just kind of lounging around. I actually wear this to dance class, I'll wear this running errands. I think they're super cute and they have a few different styles on their site. I love these slip-ons. I'll slip these on just to go somewhere, but they're also really cute with dresses or, or nicer outfits. And speaking of nicer outfits, these wedges are so cute. They're very stylish. I don't know if you can tell, but they have like a, a nice gold sparkle to them. I also have a flip-flop that's buried away in my closet because it's cold out. Every time you buy a pair of their shoes, they give a pair to a child in need in, in all around the world. So sometimes it's in the US, sometimes it's in other countries. A lot of people don't realize that they have vegan styles. If you go on their website, on the sidebar, you can click on vegan and they'll show you just the vegan style for men, women, or children. I think it's also super important to support 
non-vegan companies and offering vegan options because the more we buy for them, the more that we show our demand. The link down below will give you $20 off if you spend, I think, $75. So, you know, they're a little on the pricier side, but they're super durable. I've had a ton of different Tom's, Tom styles over the years and they've lasted a really long time. These sneakers are currently on sale for $60. And the wedges, these are on sale right now for $75 and change. The Tom's site that I linked to down below is for US only, but they actually have sites internationally. So if you go on their website, you can find a different site for whatever country that you're in. Next, I wanna share with you a recipe that I fell madly in love with this month from The Forks Over Knives Plan, which is a book I featured in the Healthy Balanced Vegan Body series. If you haven't seen it yet, link to you up above and down below. I covered this whole book. This has become one of my new favorite books. My top favorite recipe is a potato vegetable chowder. I grew up in Massachusetts and I used to love New England clam chowder, which is this creamy soup with chunks of clams and potatoes and other veggies, and you would sprinkle on crackers on top of it. But once I went vegan, I lost interest in that, and I never have really found a great plant-based chowder until I did this recipe. And what's great about this recipe is it's super easy to make. It makes a big serving size of it, doesn't require a ton of vegetables, and it's entirely oil-free. It's creamy, it's thick, it's so flavorful, and it's so great for the winter. If you don't have a copy of this book yet, I would recommend it just for that recipe alone, but there are so many great recipes in here. I know you will love it. Speaking of books, I wanna tell you about another one that I just finished reading called Healthy Happy Pooch. This is by my friend Sanai Suzuki. I've known her because of her husband who runs this phenomenal vegan restaurant in LA called Seed. If you've never been there before and you're in LA or visiting, you have to check that place out. They have great burgers and bowls and all sorts of things. Sanai is super passionate about health and she's gone through a lot of health challenges including cancer which she healed through a healthy macrobiotic vegan diet. She also has some incredible dogs in her life and she cooks for them. She's been cooking for them for 20 years and she finally wrote this book that details how to cook for your dog. What makes this book extra special is it's based in the plant-based diet so you can learn learn how to feed your dog a completely holistic, healthy diet by serving them a lot of the same foods that you're already eating, like brown rice bowls and beans and vegetables. She tells you all about the nutrition side of it and gives you recipes. I am so excited to start implementing this and I will be documenting that on the Eco Vegan Dog channel at some point. There are so many tips in this book. She talks about dental care. She talks about remedies for various issues your companion animal might face, like uh, insect bites. She has tips in here about household cleaners to make sure you have a non-toxic environment environment for your dog. You'll be supporting her directly because this is a self-published book, but it is available on Amazon. It's $20 there if you want to check it out. The next resource I want to bring up to you is Out of the Darkness by my close friend Jason Rubel. He did this live workshop in LA sharing detailed story and tips on his own journey healing from depression. He was diagnosed with depression years ago and this is while I've known him, so I've seen him go through this whole journey from really, really strong struggling to making this breakthrough and finding out how to heal himself emotionally and physically through a healthy diet, healthy lifestyle, all sorts of remedies, working with great doctors, taking energy exercise into his life, doing things like meditation. It's been such an incredible process to watch because so many people wanted to be part of it. He actually is now selling the video from the live workshop as well as the audio recording. And he's coming out with an ebook that you can pre-order. So if you or someone you know is struggling with depression or any sort of emotional challenges and they're looking for a way to work through it naturally without loading up on medications or just falling into a deep well despair, I highly recommend you check it out. And last but not least, I wanted to give a shout out to a restaurant that I'm really into right now called Anaka. This is a macrobiotic Japanese restaurant that serves local organic food that is so delicious and healing. In fact, this kind of ties in with a lot of the messaging like Sanai's books and Jason's story and all of that because the whole restaurant is based on nourishing, healing foods. 
Their entire menu can be veganized. In fact, everything is vegan except for some dishes that contain fish. As far as I know, I think everything is oil-free too. I actually went with my friends Lex and Kristen who run the channel Mr. and Mrs. Vegan. If you don't know about them yet, they'll be linked to down below. We went and had a phenomenal meal along with Sean from Minimal Pro, who's the executive producer for this channel, plus Jeanette who runs a channel called Basic Vegan Bitch, and Jason Robel was there as well. I had this hot pot dish that blew my mind, and it is such a huge portion for $16. It's such a beautiful experience there. If you're in LA, you're gonna visit LA, you have to check this place out. It's on La Brea between 1st and 2nd Street, and the website is linked down below if you wanna check them out. I guess that's not really a product, unless you consider the food a product, but I had to mention them. I would love to hear from you now. Tell me any of these products. Do you have experience with Tom Shoes or Hoba Oil? Do you feed your dog a holistic diet or do your best to make your dog's life as natural as possible? Have you ever been to a Naka or do you have a favorite macrobiotic restaurant in your area? Whatever you want to share with me, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning, if you want to see more favorites video like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're brand new because I have at least one new video every single month. Thanks again for watching. I can't wait to hear from you. In between videos, I am always on social Social media so you can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, Facebook, Twitter, any place that you like to be. I'm probably on there as well under Eco Vegan Gal. It's all linked down below. I will see you there and I will see you in the next video. Bye!